All right, welcome to the demo for our photo list application. So uh, it's running, but I will uh, rebuild it and relaunch it just so that you can see uh, that there's um, several different sections. Of course, when yours comes up, uh, it won't have these photos, but there's this uh, area up here, which is a edit text area that says name your photo. Then there are three columns, image, name, and size. Uh, name is, uh, has backgrounded in yellow and, and you see there's sort of an order to the name and if we click on name it turns red and the images are displayed in uh, descending alphabetical order. If I click on size it's it's uh, ascending so small to large and I click again descending click again ascending okay you get the point and also um, yeah, you know, whenever, even if it's descending uh, name, if I click on size, it's ascending. So that's, th th those are the, those are the full, full set of controls there. Um, you can see these, na the name is not, does not have to be unique. It's two, uh, uh, two photos named AA, and it, it doesn't matter what order they get, they get printed in. Um, you can swipe a photo to delete it. Um, and you see in this case, you, you see that it, um, uh, that it was dismissed. If I go down here to this camera uh, picture, um, it should um, complain to me that I haven't named uh, my picture. So I'll, I'll name it A. And if you notice, the kind of buttons we're using float to the top of the soft keyboard. So that's kind of sweet. Uh, we go into our camera app. Um, and let's take, uh, you know, Try, try to take a visually distinct picture just to remember that it's actually a, a different picture. And, and, and sorry, I, I clicked through kind of quickly on that, but you can reject the picture and retake it. Um, anyway, so here we've got two the two AAs. Uh, and this is the one we just took. Hey, there's no way to get to like a detailed view. There's, there's just no need. I mean, this whole thing is like, a, you know, um, it, it, the, the point is to get you used to uh, interacting with Firestore database and uh, Firestore storage. So, you know, the actual functionality, I mean, look, it's reasonable. It's sort of reminiscent of file pickers and stuff, but um, there's there's obviously uh, a lot about it that remains pedagogical. But it's got a lot of neat functionality and, uh, you know, sort of cracking the code as far as getting into communicating with these um, cloud-based storage options is super cool. It really opens up a lot of doors for advanced functionality for your project. So check it out. Bye.